Tomahawk TV News presents The Barn, the election of 2016. Nocona source for information. Hello, Nocona High School, and uh, welcome to this week's first edition of Tomahawk TV News Election HQ. I'm Cole Jackson, taking a break from sports this week. I'm here outside of the administration's building, and I have a very important issue to talk about, which is a very, well, important issue for this town today. And it's about the bond election that is coming up for the new school. And basically, the story is telling us about why are we settling? The building serving as Nocona High School is about 63 years old. Many parents of some students have walked the same hallways, and some of their grandparents have walked the halls of students before, too. The age of the building is undeniable, and according to some active community members, something has to be done. The idea of a new school for our students, believe it or not, became a developing idea about 10 years ago. But with the town's low tax base, a strategic plan had to be prepared. Superintendent Dr. Gearhart remembers hearing parents and students say, why can't we have something like this when traveling to school events hosted at other schools? But she knew it had to be a community choice with the bond election to decide whether or not we could have something like many schools around the area have been blessed with. But now, after 10 years of preparing, the chance has arrived. You have the choice to build a new high school for our town's students, and its plans are going to be laid out for the community in the coming months. The only catch is the community's taxes will go up by 39 cents. However, people 65 and older will not see their taxes go up if they have applied for their homestead exemption freeze. Some people might say that might be too much, but the question that people in support of the school want you to answer is, is paying the extra 39 cents worth it for our kid's future? The new school that is in question already has a design and a proposed area to be built on. You can even see the outside virtual tour on the Political Action Committee's Facebook page. The building that serves as a high school now would be a great setting for middle school students, but they are just too outdated for high school students, which is why the new building is said to be so important. The bond proposal that you will vote on is worth $15,100,000, and the new building's design provides for the state standards basic needs that will allow the high school to have better safety procedures and operate more efficiently. The new building is even likely to cost less to operate than the building we have now. The Political Action Committee fighting for the new building is co-chaired by Crystal Ferguson and Lance Meekins, and they really just want you to let your voice be heard. The community has a chance to change their future. When history is written, what do you want that story to be? The Political Action Committee in support of the new building is on Facebook under the name Our Kids, Our Future. Be sure to check out their page for any information. It's all important to this big idea they've came up with. Uh, they are hosting two open forums for the community on April 11th and April 21st, so be sure to check those out. And be tuned for the next coming weeks as we become your fair and balanced Election HQ. Tomahawk TV News, Montague County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School.